This is my go-to turmeric dill fish curry. I fell in love with it years ago when I first tried it while backpacking in Southeast Asia. Traditionally made with wild river fish, which is marinated with turmeric and dill for just the right time before thrown over open charcoal grills all over Hanoi, Vietnam. This is my take on this Vietnamese classic. So let's do it. Starting with the marinade. I'm going to use galangal, which is widely used in Southeast Asia and it's similar to ginger, only I find it milder in flavor. You don't have to peel it, just cut it to thin strips. Then add to the mortar and pestle. Now, lightly smash some garlic cloves using the flat side of your knife. Then quarter them and add to the mortar and pestle. I like to separate the dill from the stems. We don't want the stems as they have an unpleasant and bitter taste. Set aside and reserve for later. Split the green onions through the center, then quarter them and reserve for later. Chop a handful of cilantro, stems included. They hold a lot of flavor and we want that. Then add to the mortar and pestle. Now let's get the pounding going. Add some salt, which helps to make the grinding easier until you get a coarse pesto-like paste. Transfer to a small bowl and set aside. Let's clean up the board and bring in the fish. Traditionally, this dish is made with a firm river fish. I got a beautiful looking halibut which I cut into roughly 3 inch pieces. But any other firm fish will do as well. First, let's season the fish with some salt and turmeric. I'm adding just over a teaspoon here. And to make it into a fish curry, add a pinch of chili powder and one teaspoon curry powder, which will give the dish a kick as well as some depth. I like to finish it with ground white pepper, which just works great with fish. Now let's add the cilantro paste, one tablespoon fish sauce and two tablespoons neutral oil. Give it a good mix, making sure all the fish cuts are fully coated with the marinade. Then set aside to rest in the refrigerator. Okay, now for the dipping sauce. Nuk Mam Cham, which is a Vietnamese dipping sauce and I call it my Vietnamese vinaigrette. I just absolutely love it. It's sweet, spicy, salty and tangy all at the same time. It's addictive and I use it with salads and meats and fish just about everywhere and everything. To make this sauce, start with chopping half a dozen cilantro stems. Two cloves garlic. And one red Thai chili also known as bird's eye chili or sub for serrano chili if you can find Thai chili. Then add everything to a bowl. Add lime juice, fish sauce, and sugar. And top with some warm water. Then mix well until the sugar dissolves. And taste for seasoning. The taste should be sweet, yet salty and spicy, filling your mouth with umami. Now, let's rinse some rice until the water runs clear. Traditionally, this dish is served with vermicelli noodles, but I like to use it with sushi rice or sticky rice, which works well with the fish curry. Into a pot over medium-low heat, add neutral oil. I like to use a microplane and grate the garlic straight into the pot and then saute it for another one to two minutes. Then add the sushi rice and saute until it becomes translucent, about two minutes. 
add two cups boiling water and bring to boil. Then reduce the heat and simmer until the water has fully evaporated. Then cover and set aside for 20 minutes. Uncover, erase the rice, season with salt and then set aside. Now this is going to be quick. Heat up a pan over medium heat and add oil. Add the fish with the marinade to the pan and sear from all sides. Now give them a quick wiggle, preventing any sticking disasters. Now flip the fish and sear the other side as well. When just about ready, add the green onions and the dill. I just tear up the dill, avoiding any large stems. Then top with half a cup of water and let it simmer for roughly 30 seconds or so. Quickly remove from the heat and set it table center. Now let's make a curry bowl. Starting with the rice, Then top with the fish fillets. And don't forget to spoon some of that delicious curry sauce on top. Just look at that. Then I like to top it with the Vietnamese dipping sauce. Mm. This is gonna be so delicious. And add some roasted peanuts for crunch. Just look at that. I'm so ready to try it. Mm. So good. Every time I make this dish, it reminds me just how freaking good it is. I can have this every day. I hope you enjoyed this video and the fish curry. And if you didn't already, go ahead and press that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.